Here's a new toy I just got, it's an Autel, and it's a Maxisys Ultra. Now if it does one tenth of the things they claim it does, it's going to blow me away. So, we're going to hook it up and check things out. Like any scan tool, it just plugs in, and we'll turn on a key, turn on a computer, diagnostics, and we'll do Auto VIN, VINs, USA Civic 2016. We'll do a scan here, there we go, it's scanning through it, okay, everything's good except it's got one code, and that is for the ABS. So let's check it out. Okay, it's got a code that the electronic parking brake control unit internal circuit has a malfunction. I just put it in neutral and pulled it on so it works. So much for circuit malfunction. And that's the problem with all these stupid computer stuff. We'll erase this code anyways. But at some point in time, it showed I had a circuit fault in the electronic parking brake. Now, I have seen this before. He recently changed the battery. A lot of times when the old battery is worn out, you gotta use a parking brake, right? But the battery's worn it out, and it'll get a code for a circuit malfunction in the parking brake because it didn't get enough electricity. Now, what I tell people to do is, you find a guy like me, after you change your battery, hook up a machine like this and erase all the codes because otherwise, the guy the other day had like five codes, and it was all because he had changed the battery and nobody reset it. Cars are so complex today, you really got to reset everything when you change the battery. See, you got a bunch of active tests we could do if there was something wrong. And they also have a bunch of special functions to do the TPMS system. But let's look at live data. We'll start it up. Quite a bit of live data here. We'll start to do it, but just for kicks. Watch this. See all this data? Look at all this data. It's still going. Now, this data is just for the ABS system. Now we'll go into engine data. Go into engine powertrain, and we're going to look at live data. Now, this is going to blow your mind here. Here we go. Now, watch the amount of data that we're going to have. We're still in the A's. We're still going, people. Yes, we are. You can see it's on. No misfires, of course. We're in the D's now. Well, we're back to the C's. <laughs> Look at all that data. It's absolutely insane. And of course, it's on. Just the data's all fine. Check it out. You can even get the battery consumption history on one of these things. As you can see here, you can test the EVAP system. The VTEC, bi-directional testing, radiator fan, fuel pump, injectors, one injector stop, variable cylinder shut off, cylinder cranking speed, cylinder air fuel test. There are so much things this can do. The automatic stop start system. You can't on this because it doesn't have one. <laughs> it knows that too. EGR system. High voltage battery. Of course, this doesn't have a high voltage battery, so it's not going to do anything. You're able to do all these different things. It's absolutely insane. Now, the car's perfectly fine, but this scan tool, let me tell you, I could spend 100 years going through all the stuff you could do with it. It is insane what the modern technology is on these cars. It's absolutely insane. You can check all the control modules, go through the CAN system. It is nuts what this machine can do. Now, you're not going to go out and buy one unless you're a mechanic. They're expensive machines, but I have been testing out scan tools for many, many years. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the one that's the closest to the only scan tool that you'd need. None of them are absolutely perfect. There'll always be something they don't have. But for all the cars that it covers, I got to say, it's pretty impressive. I can't even show you the data on the different CAN systems. This is the CAN H6. We'll switch it to the CAN L14. It's absolutely insane what this thing can do. Now this particular section is to check through all the CAN bus. See if you got a communication problem. It also has an oscilloscope so you can pinpoint individual ones, plain old multimeter, and even a waveform generator. So if you think that a sensor's bad, you can generate a waveform Watch the sensor with this device and see if it's activating or not. Yes, cars are getting that complex. It's a shame smart guys like me aren't getting into auto repair much anymore because the future for getting your car repaired correctly is getting bleak out there. <laughs>